What is up, y'all? Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and so I know everybody's looking for a meal to make for their beloved person. So I got a Valentine's steak meal that I'm going to make right here for y'all right now. So let's get into it. We're going to be using a beef chuck roast, which a chuck roast is actually meant for like beef stew or something like that. But I see everybody making these fantastic videos about using filet mignons and ribeye steaks and all that other stuff to make really good looking steaks. And I just can't help but feel like they're not talking to the audience of people who are using cheap cuts of beef. So that's what we're going to do is a cheap cut of beef. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take your steak out, put it on a paper towel, and dap that thing up to make it drier than British humor. Now, after you dry it out, you're gonna wanna go ahead and cut a heart inside of your beef because you're making this for your Valentine's, so you want it to look presentable. I cut myself because I was messing around big time, so then I put a band-aid on, and then I cut up the rest of the chuck roast so that way it resembled like steak-sized bites. Now, go ahead and get a container that you can marinate your steak in. Go ahead and put a little bit of chili powder, garlic powder, salt, and then put your steaks in, put the chili powder, garlic powder, and salt over top of it again, and then put a little bit of red wine and Worcestershire sauce because red wine is great for cooking beef because it breaks down the acids inside the beef and makes it a lot more tender and juicy and flavorful, and we're gonna use that for our sauce, so. Now you're gonna go ahead and quarter up your petite red skin potatoes. We're gonna turn these into roasted red skins. You're gonna go and put them in some hot water with a little bit of salt to soften them up so that way they roast up real nice. Now that your steaks have had some time to marinate, bring them back, put them on your little rack, and then go ahead and put them in your air fryer. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and air fry them on 375 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Check on them periodically because they're kind of small, so they might burn and they might dry out. You wanna make sure that they don't get dry, they just get cooked. Now, I like my sauce with a little bit of schmack on it, so I'm gonna take some jalapenos, dice them up, put them in the red wine. I'm gonna take an apple, just half of it, because I like the flavor of it, dice that up, put it in there, and then a little bit of garlic. Now, go ahead and put all your sauce into a pot, put that pot on high heat, put a little bit of sugar into it so that way it'll thicken up real nice and it got nice sweet flavor on it, and then just let it sit and simmer. Pay attention to it, because if you overcook it, it'll get thick, way too thick to use as a sauce. And if you don't let it get thick enough, it'll be too runny. So you really want it at a nice, perfect consistency. Keep your eyes on it. Now you're gonna go ahead and take your potatoes, strain off all the water, put them in a bowl, toss them with some paprika, oregano, garlic salt, salt, and fresh garlic. Put those on a rack and then put those in the air fryer with your steak. If you're gonna do it this way, you're gonna wanna put your steak on the bottom and your potatoes on top because the steak will juice and if it juices, it's gonna get all over them potatoes and you're gonna have a whole catastrophe on your hands. The potatoes only need about 15 minutes at 375, so if you do everything perfectly, you'll have everything done at the exact same time, or you pull your steak out and you give your potatoes a little bit more time to cook. Either way, doesn't matter. Now we go back to the sauce. Look at how beautiful and gorgeous it looks once you let it simmer just long enough to where it starts to get really thick, and then it starts to make a nice glaze. Then you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull out your steaks, let them sit for about five to 10, maybe even 15 minutes, let all the juice sit inside of them, and then you can come back and cut them. Now look at that beautiful heart that you cut out for your baby girl or your big mans. Go ahead and put that off to the side because that's not for you, that's for your significant other. Or it is for you, and you just wanna make it feel like it's special from somebody else. But either way, put that off to the side. We're gonna bring out one of the other ones and cut into that one so that we can show you the display of how beautiful this steak looks. Now you get a strip of it, slice it up into slices, lay it out really nice, make it look pretty, put some potatoes off onto the side of it, get you some sauce over top of it, and now you got your whole steak looking right. That's an entire meal fit for an army. Now remember, if you think that this steak looks butt cheeks, it's cause it is butt cheeks. This is a super cheap cut of meat and it's not being used for the purpose that it's supposed to be used for. But realistically, most people don't have $35 to go out and buy a ribeye or $72 to buy some A5 Wagyu. So some people are here getting a $15 cheap cut of under rib roast and they're just using that for whatever they can use it for. This is supposed to be a shredded type of beef that you slow cook, but I figure for the process of the video, I think that you guys would like to know that you can take any kind of steak and turn it into anything delicious as long as you have the proper tools and knowledge at your disposal. So take a bite of that, get you some potatoes, serve it to your significant other and show them how much you love them. And that'll do it for me on this video where I show y'all how to make a pretty decent <laughs> uh, steak meal out of a super cheap cut of beef. That's it for me, y'all. I'm Kev, and I'm out. Peace. Bye. Deuces. Give you that bag, let you just ball. When you feel lonely, I'm the one that you call. Yeah, yeah. You need somebody who professional. And I'm the one you can plan to call. We ain't even got a star. It's gonna be alright, 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 alright. Yeah. Say it's gonna be alright.